What's up, everyone? It's Tim from Tim Plays Game here with Paradox Rift. <laughs> That's right. I'm getting back into Pokemon cards now. So we got a booster box to open, and we got two of these uh, Elite Trainer boxes to open. It did come out a few days ago, but the, by the time this video comes out, you actually, yeah, by the time the video comes out, we'll be in about it would have been out for a few days. I didn't want to do it too early, so. But we have the stuff here. We got the two. Elite Trainer Boxes and the Booster Box uh, all together. That is, let's see, 36 packs in the Booster Box, 9 packs in each Elite Box, 2 Elite Boxes, so the 18 in there. So we got 54 packs we're going to open. This is crazy. <laughs> I've never done like this many packs opening before, so yeah, this is going to be a very fun video, but uh, let's get right into it. First, I'm going to open, before I get to the packs, I'm going to be basically opening up both uh, Elite Boxes, just to see what you get inside. This is the uh, Iron Valiant one. We get the uh, card book with everything about the cards, a uh, list of the new cards that are coming out that are all in this set. So there's that. And opening the box, we get the fluffy cardboard <laughs> just to make the box look like you can get more than you're getting. <laughs> of course, we get our nine packs in the box, so that's cool. We'll be opening up those later. book packs of cards uh we get i think it's 50 was it 60 something sleeves 65 sleeves it's no more than more than enough for a deck yeah 65 sleeves they're not the best quality sleeves but they're really good uh for like if you just want to build a deck and test stuff um we got a tcg live code which uh you will not be seeing sorry we get a uh, promo iron bundle which has really cool effect, Hyper Blower. Uh, basically, he treats the card as a switch, but your opponent decides which gets switched out. We get a pack of energy cards to help build the deck. Right there. And then we get dividers. Uh, dividers for the box. So you can kind of like divide up the box and put stuff somewhere. So that is the Elite Trainer box for uh, the Iron Valiant one. That's what you get. Kind of cool if you like green and pink. <laughs> oh, oh, I missed some stuff. Missed some stuff. I knew there was more stuff. Yeah, we got damage counters and dice, and we got the poison counters and uh, fire and burn counter. So yeah, basically what you need to start to uh, build a good deck, a pretty decent deck, and uh, play with damage counters and poison counters and stuff. So next, next we got the Paradox Rift, uh, the, sorry, next we have the uh, Roaring Moon uh, Elite Trainer Box, it'd be nice if they gave you a Roaring Moon, but it is what it is, uh, we got another book, it's basically the same contents as before with uh, slightly different stuff, but it's all the same stuff. Shows you what you get. Shows what new cards are in there. So yeah, it's the same book. Just different cover. And the box. The cardboard filler. Like I said with the other ones, basically the same stuff. Nine packs of Paradox Rift, which we'll be opening later. So you got the energy cards again. Yeah, this is all the this is all different types of energy: psychic, dark, steel, uh, fire, grass, water, electric. I think fighting. Yeah, the uh, TCG Live card, Screamtail promo, which actually is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, Screamtail has the normal slap attack for one psychic energy, but the second attack, Roaring Scream, uh, attack does twenty damage to one of your opponent's uh, Pokemon for each damage counter on this Pokemon, which can have up to eight damage counters as it is right now. So in theory, if it has 80, 80 H, 80 da eight, eight damage counters, <laughs> uh, it can do 160 damage to one Pokemon. And that's any Pokemon on the bench or, or active. So 
Yeah, but that's very situational. I don't know, maybe we'll do something with it. We've got the four dividers that have uh, Roaring Moon on them. Roaring Moon uh, deck sleeves, damage counters, and dice. Yep, just like the other one. All right, so we have 18 packs from the two Elite boxes, which we'll be opening first, and then we will get to the big Daddy Booster box. So we're going to move these aside. Here we go, first pack. I think this was this, yeah, I'm going to start with the uh, Iron Valiant box, in case anyone's wondering. So that goes there. You won't be seeing any codes in this video, sorry. Fair Seed, Gibble, Panpour, Blitzel, St Steeny, Simapur, Zeeb Stryka, uh, Reverse Hollow Knackley, another Reverse Hollow Knackley, and a Porygon Z. And water energy, so not a bad, not a bad pull on that one. <laughs> Two reverse hollow knackleys. That yeah, they have. I think they have like different versions of uh, of some of the basic Pokemon in this. But yeah, that's uh, kind of a one in a million. Well, not really one in a million. Probably up there <laughs> type deal where you pull two reverse of uh, difference, different or the same Pokemon. So move that. Let's see, I'm trying to think how I want to organize this. It basically, as the screen gets filled up, <laughs> I'll uh, move things around. All right, pack number two. Just your live code. I'm just gonna pull the energy. Yeah, put that over there. All right, Sir Skit, Whismer, Flamigo, Porygon. Vanillux, which is a, yeah, it's a uncommon Vanillux. Defiance Vest, Durant, Reverse Foil Cedra, Tatsugiri, and a Milotic. Not a bad Milotic. Oh, I'm not crazy about its ability, actually. Basically, when you evolve it, uh, both players put a basic Pokemon for the disc discard pile onto their bench. And its attacks, two, it's like, yeah, it's 60, and it puts. The active Pokemon to sleep, which is decent. I just don't... Yeah, I can't really see myself running it. Alright, we're on pack number three. Energy. Bond Suite. Feebas. Apom. Pan Sage. Luxurious Cape, Ambipom, a Snorax, a Snorlax Doll, we got a Reverse Foil Panseer, ooh, that is a nice Garganical, yeah, it's an alternate art Garganical, and the, and the rare is Wo Chan, so yeah, I think Gargan the Garganical is the star of that pack, <laughs> sorry Wo Chan, yeah, it actually has a very interesting ability, once during your turn you may attach a basic uh, Fighting Energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon, if you attach uh, energy to a Pokemon in this way, heal 30 HP from that Pokemon. So yeah, it gets uh, free uh, discarded uh, uh, fighting energy and 30 HP and 30 uh, 30 damage healed from him. So, so from that Pokemon, so it can probably yeah, it can be used on itself, and it can be used on any of your bench Pokemon if you or any other Pokemon you have if you wish. And of course the. Uh, also has uh, Land Crush <laughs> for three damage. For, yeah, three energy. You get to do 140 damage. Pack number four. You get a Seedra, a Magby. I like the Magby though. It's like yeah, no energy, and you get to use the attack Scorching Heater. During your opponent's next turn, if the Pokemon is damaged by an attack, even if it gets knocked out, put six damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So for no energy, you have that little shield. <laughs> it's kind of yeah, it's kind of a weird shield. Uh, Vanillite or Corio. The uh, technical machine Turbo Energize. One thing I want to say about the technical machines is they only last for one turn. They have some pretty good attacks. This one's Turbo Energize. Search your deck for up to two basic energy cards. Attach them to your bench Pokemon any way you like, and then shuffle your deck. Kind of a good thing because I do see a lot of competitive decks 
I don't run a lot of energy, so searching out energies is kind of a big deal. Wug Trio. Techno Radar. I'm, I'm actually kind of curious about these future po future and uh, ancient Pokemon. I want to kind of, kind of make one future deck and one ancient deck, see which one works better. But for this one, you can discard. You can use this card only if you discard another card from your hand, and then you search your deck for two future Pokemon. Has to say future. Reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. So, not a bad search card. Onyx, uh, Wimpod, both Reverse Foil and the Rare, is Chan Pao. I'm not crazy about some of the legendaries in this. They look, I mean, it's cool to have them, but they're not that strong. 120 HP. Uh, it's a te first attack Snowbringer, one water energy to attach up to two basic water energy cards from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. That's decent. Uh, but then the second attack, Wrathful Blade, uh, discard two energy cards from this Pokemon. So, yeah, I guess you can kind of recycle the energy. So yeah, Snowbringer one turn, then with Wrathful Blade the next. I don't know, just for 130 damage though, it doesn't seem worth it to be going through that whole rigmarole. <laughs> I think I might do four or five packs at a time, I'm not sure here. There's 54, I might, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so we got Steel Energy there, we got a Mantike. Uh, Gabite, Minen, Dublade, Tinkaton, Tatsugiri, Earthen Vessel. Same deal with the other one. Uh, yeah, this is an ancient uh, trainer card. This one's actually, you can, you can use this one. Some of these some of these ancient or future cards, they don't have to be used in tandem with uh, ancient or future Pokemon. This one says you can discard another card from your hand, search your deck for two basic energies, Reveal them and put them on and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. So if you, good way to search out energies. Not the best way, but it works. <laughs> got a Spinda, Reverse Foil, an Ore Beetle. That's an uncommon. And then the rare is Asia Slash. Ha <laughs> EX. Our first EX pull. Yeah, Peerless Edge for one en one Steel Energy. One Steel Energy. Uh, this attack does 70 damage for each prize card you have taken. So in a normal game, if you take in, I mean, obviously they're kind of getting into pr like prize card count. But if you're like totally owning with something, even if you've taken only one prize card, does 70 damage for one steel energy. It could do four, uh, 140, it could do 210, 280, 350. <laughs> That's a dream. Yeah, but a max of 350 damage for one steel energy. That's crazy. At that point, though, you've already probably won. <laughs> It's, yeah, the definitely the overkill card. And then uh, Double Edge sl uh, Slash. This Pokemon does 30 damage to itself, but for two Steel Energy, 220 damage, no prize card count. Not bad. So I like that one. There's also a normal Age of Slash in here, which is pretty good too. It's kind of like the counter. <laughs> kind of a, Think of it as the shield form of Age of Slash. <laughs> and we are on pack number six. I think I'm going to do six at a time. Got Swablu, Panseer, Nicket, Gligar, Steeny, Countercatcher. Pretty interesting trainer card. Uh, but you can only use it if you have uh, you, if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent. Again, the prize card count. And you switch in one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So it's kind of situational in that aspect. Absol, Reverse Foil Remoraid. Reverse Foil Chien Pao. So that's the, uh, yeah, <laughs> we got a second Chien Pao here. That's the, that's not even the rare from the pack. So the psychic energy. And then the rare is an Iron Jugulus. That's one of the future Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, so let's see. For th uh, three energy, and this is colorless energy, so you can be any kind of energy, fire, water, whatever. This attack does 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon that have take that have any damage counters on them. So yeah, to three of your opponent's Pokemon that have any damage counters on them. So yeah, uh, it's pretty, yeah, just wrecking the bench at that point. Um, for five energy, though, by, uh, Baryon Beam, This uh, if this Pokemon has a future uh, booster energy capsule, the trainer card we'll get into later, attached to it, uh, the attack cost is three instead of five, which you kind of need that. <laughs> Getting 5 energy on a Pokemon is ridiculous when most decks run like 12 or 13 energy. 
All right, so that is our first first six packs right there. All right, we are getting into pack number seven, I believe we're on, yeah. Some energy there. So we got a mill tank, a Wimpod, Plusle, Tanda Mouse, a medical energy. This is the special energy from the new set. Uh, as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides a colorless energy. Uh, when you attach this card from your hand to one of your Pokemon, heal 30 damage. So it's a potion and an energy all in one. But again, it's a special energy card, so be careful, be wary of that. Uh, Iron Bundle, we talked about earlier. Pretty good effect. Glissor, uh, Reverse Foil Minfu, Reverse Foil Charcadet, and the rare Steelix. I keep... <laughs> I went to a pre-release event, and I keep pulling these freaking Steelix. <laughs> and I just kind of wish they were better. It's, they're interesting. Uh, for one Steel Energy, you do uh, you can use Earthquake. 130 damage. That's pretty solid. But you do 30 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. That's unfortunate. You can't... <laughs> There's so many ways to that, that the other team can get to your bench. It, it, it does you no favors. This is not... And then for 5 energy, freaking heavy impact, 180 damage. It's like, uh, why? Just just why? <laughs> I mean, if you really need a steel Pokemon, there are better ones out there. That's all I'm saying. But I've, this has got to be my fifth one already, though. <laughs> from the pre I, I think I pulled two from a pre-release event. And I got my hands on, like, three packs a few, a few days ago. And I got, like, I think, yeah, two Steelix out of them. Anyway, next pack. We're on pack number eight. Energy. We got a blip bug, a Fuecoco, a Hone Edge, Dwebble, Mascor Mask I can never pronounce that right, Masquerine. Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. We've uh, talked about this earlier. Uh, the ancient Pokemon that this is attached to gets a hundred or sorry, gets sixty HP, uh, recovers from all special conditions, and can't be affected by any special conditions. So that's a very interesting card. No sleep, no poison, no burn. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's interesting to have. Plus the six, the sixty HP will definitely help out Scream Tail. Let's see what other ancient Pokemon we get. We got an Orthworm. We got a Reverse Foil Galisopod, so that's one. That's an extra rare right there. We got a Reverse Foil Parasol Lady. I'm gonna talk about this card real quick. Shuffle your hand in your deck, then draw four cards. If it go, if you go second, and it's your first turn, draw eight cards. Too situational. Just play youngster. <laughs> I mean, maybe because you got to go for well. First of all, yeah, it, it basically it's you have to get you have to go second, and then you have to use it on that turn. So that's way too situational. Just use youngster, and then we got Palkia. Um, I like the Glycopod powerful cross. Uh, I actually got this uh, during the pre-release uh, battle. I had to go. I had to fall back heavy on this guy. Uh, this attack does twenty damage for each uh, card in your opponent's hand. Generally, uh, I've, I've seen a lot of control decks that they have good control, but if you if you start to get shaky and you can't quite get what cards you want, you'll end up, end up having like a ridiculously oversized hand of like 10, 20 cards. Well, maybe not 20 cards, but 10. Uh, so that's 20 damage for each card in your opponent's hand. That could do 200, it could do a lot of damage for one water energy. And then waterfall, you can always fall back on. The Palkia, I'm not much, not much better about. <laughs> not much better. Uh, it's basic Pokemon, 130 HP. You may switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon using teleport teleportation burst, 30 damage, but for two energy, eh. Uh, then prize count, if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, this attack does 80 more damage. And if so if you have less energy than your opponent, or less prize cards than your opponent, then it's ridiculous. <laughs> three, yeah, three energies for 160 damage, that seems right, but it's just, it's situational, that prize card count, which I don't like. Because <laughs> you kind of have to have the upper hand already, and that card's not going to give you the upper hand. So it's more it's more support than anything. All right, so this is the last pack from the uh, Iron Valiant box. Which we did get one Pokemon EX, and we did get uh, that one Garganical, so that was good. Let's see what we get here. We got a Toad's Cool, a Toxel, a Spinda. Nimble. Future Booster Energy Capsule. We got the past one, now we get the future one. 
The future Pokemon this card is attached to has no retreat cost, and the attacks it uses, it uses do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So I'm not, yeah, I'm kind of thinking like, wow. <laughs> I feel like the future one would be better with the no retreat cost thing. Hard to say though. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to like build a future deck and a past deck and see what uh, see which one runs better. <laughs> we got a Simisage. We got Norman. Draw two cards if your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon EX. Draw two more cards. Very situational, but uh, I can't see you not running into a Pokemon EX. And I, I would just, I mean, if you really need to draw cards, there are better draw cards, especially supporters. Like Rika. <laughs> Look at the top four cards of your deck and put two of them into your hand. Shuffle the other cards and put them on the bottom of your deck. So you get to pick up four cards. Whichever two look good, take those. And the other two, you're probably not going to see for a while. Uh, so kind of a weird trade-off there. Mean Shao. And then the rare is Zekrom. This is another... Okay, this is like a, a reoccurring trend you're going to see a lot of in these packs. The legendaries that look way better than they actually are. <laughs> 130 HP, that's meh. Um, crushing short. Before doing damage, discard all Pokemon tools from your opponent's active Pokemon, which is good. Because some Pokemon tools can get annoying. Not so much game-changing, but annoying. Um, I think Leftovers came out in Mew 151... Or, or yeah, in, uh, in the 151 set. I've seen some people use that. If, you can't, if you're having a hard time doing like a huge amount of damage... Certain cards can get certain tool cards can get annoying, so that's nice to have. But three uh, three energy right here for Raging Thunder, 130 damage, and this also does 40 damage to one of your benched Pokemon. Yeah, you're doing damage to your own Pokemon. I don't like Steelix Earthquake Attack, and I'm not gonna like paying three energy to damage 41 of my of my of my one benched Pokemon. If you don't have a bench Pokemon, it's fine, but. If, I mean, you're going to have a bench Pokemon, let's be real here, in this in this day and age. <laughs> Stop hurting your bench Pokemon. Be nice. That's almost, that's almost an abuse Pokemon right there. <laughs> It'd be cool if you could, like, you know, transfer that somehow onto your opponent's Pokemon, but I, I don't see that happening. All right, so that was the, uh, that was all the from the uh, Iron Valiant box. We're now into the... We're into the uh, Paradox, or sorry, the uh, Roaring Moon box. This is the tenth pack so far we've opened. Feebas, Fee uh, Ambipom, Galvantula, Mantike, Tinkaton, Durant, Earthen Vessel, Reverse Foil. Pa Come on! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop with these instant... We get the reverse foil like right after we get the other one. We got a parasol lady. That's the second reverse parasol lady. And then the rare is... A Deoxys. Huh. Okay, so... Again, the annoying trend of... Legendary Pokemon that aren't as good as they could be. <laughs> Psy Punch. 100 for, one, uh, for one psychic energy, d30 damage. Uh, then Genome Spiral. Move all energy from this Pokemon to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. Decent, I guess. I, I I guess it's better than some of these other Pokemon attacks, but I mean, you're keeping the energy, but you're moving them all to your bench Pokemon any way you like. I don't know what. I guess if you don't have any bench Pokemon, these are good, but <laughs> and I guess you, maybe you keep them. I'm not sure. I'll have to look up the ruling on that. All right, we are on pack number. Was pack number nine, ten. This is pack number eleven. Magby, Vanilla, uh, Vanilla, Vanillite, sorry, <laughs> Oricorio, Swablu, Minior, very interesting ability on Minior. Uh, once during your turn, if this Pokemon is on your bench, when you attach an energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, you can switch it with your active Pokemon, and then Gravitational Tackle for each, uh, this card does 20 damage for each uh, cost in your opponent's retreat cost. So it could do anywhere from zero to... <laughs> To, I've seen Pokemon with like 4, so 80 for just one energy. It's interesting. I just kind of wanted to bring it up. It actually helped me out pretty well in the uh, pre-release battle. In the 
pre-release battle tournament. Simapore, Zeep Strika, Reverse Foil Gibble, Reverse Foil Mean Shao, and the rare is Theobal. So Robin Run. Hit and run. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may have your opponent reveal their hand, and then you choose two energy cards you find there and shuffle them into your opponent's deck. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's an interesting card. I mean, with, especially with energies as low as they are, I could see that one getting a little bit of play. Nothing really serious, though. Still, though, it's nice to have one of those screw you moments. Like, oh, that just kind of situational messes them up like pretty badly if it's two energy, too. Here we go. Next one, Pansage, Minun, Snowrunt, Stack, another Medical Energy, a Steeny, a Glissor, Reverse Foil Dottler, Reverse Foil Toad School, and the rare is... Ha! An Armor Rogue EX. Holy crap, I haven't seen this one yet, so I actually have to read this. <laughs> If this Pokemon has full HP, it takes 80 less damage from your from attacks from of your of your opponent's Pokemon after applying weakness and resistance. Then its attacks Scorching Bazooka. This attack does 40 more damage for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon. If you're running this in a straight fire deck, <laughs> uh, it uh, it's going to do 80 160 for the two fire energy, and then 40 more. So yeah, there's no limit on that. So you can just keep throwing fire energy on them. Crimson Armor though. If it has full HP, it takes 80 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. This is a this is crazy because technically this thing does not take damage until it takes an attack with 90 or more damage. So yeah, and it, yeah, if you can, I, I can see this thing. Like if you put like if you put something like leftovers on this thing, like leftover. I don't know why I'm, I keep using bring referencing that card from the last set from U151, but uh. Yeah, it would just heal up the if you can just keep it at full HP, which shouldn't be too hard. Uh, this thing can be like a pretty good wall for a while. So nice. That is uh, our second uh, EX Pokemon right there. Not doing so bad after 12 packs. All right, we are on to pack number 13, I believe. Yep. Come on, this one's stubborn. <laughs> yeah, Panseer, uh, Nicket, Gligar, Blipbug, Crocolar, Ambipom, Snorlax Doll, Reverse Foil Flittle, Reverse Foil Mantike. I actually like this one. Heal 120 damage from your uh, bench Pokemon. <laughs> Well, with all the damage we're doing to our bench Pokemon, we're going to have to heal it, and that's for no energy, so that's good. And the rare is Espathra. I like this one. And here's why. Uh, when you play this card, uh, first it's uh, Ability Stance. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve it, uh, prevent all damage from, uh, the from and effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to this Pokemon until the end of your opponent's next turn. So whatever they do next turn, not going to hurt it. <laughs> Uh, it's real thing is it's uh, attack two, ener two, two psychic energy glistering, I'm sorry, glittering eye. What am I saying? Glistering. That's not a word. Glittering eyes, 70 damage. And if tulip is in your, the trainer, the support trainer card, tulip is in your discard pile. This attack does 70 more damage. So 140 damage for two psychic energy. That's really good. And tulip is actually a really good supporter card for a psychic deck. So I can see, uh, Asprathra being a pretty good, uh, I could make a deck pretty much pretty good deck with uh, some of the psychic Pokemon in this set, but I, do, I really do like that one. That and the uh, Zatu, yeah, we'll see the Zatu later on, I'm sure. All right, pack number fourteen, yeah. Got a Plusel, a Dotler, Toxel, Lyperd, Absol. Simisage, Norman, Reverse Foil Pansage, Reverse Foil Cloth, and the rare is... Boom! 
block uh, low kicks. Yeah, not great. Uh, for one, dark energy, the switch uh, bounce does 30 damage and switch this Pokemon with uh, one of your bench Pokemon, so hit and run. Uh, punishing kick. For two, for two dark energy, 10 damage plus 40 more for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So, yeah, this is probably a good, uh, good follow-up killer if you've... Uh, if you've already done a lot of damage and you just send this guy in, yeah, he just uh, 40 more for each damage counter. So whatever they have on there, 10 plus, then time, the 10, 10 damage plus uh, whatever they've taken already times 40. So that's a lot of damage, <laughs> potentially. On its own, no, not good, but potentially pretty lethal. <laughs> it's got potential. Okay, we are on pack number 15. Coco, Hone Edge, Dwebble, Horsey, Tinkaton, Durant, Earthen Vessel, Reverse Foil Valusa. I could talk about this one. It's got it's got some decent mo uh, decent stuff. This Pokemon is in your active spot and is knocked out. Put damage from an attack by damage from attack from your opponent's Pokemon. Move up to two water energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. So a little bit of energy recycling. Unfortunately, though, Hydro Pump is its only attack. 160 damage, if there's for, and then plus 20 for each water energy on it. Potentially uh, 120. It's just for three water energy, it seems a little... Eh. I mean, it's decent. Uh, reversal techno, techno, Technical Machine, Blindside. Same like the other one, uh, but for three energy, uh, it does 100 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, could be benched, could be active. So that's pretty solid. That could get a knockout on most uh, support stuff. And then Latios. For, yeah, for one energy, Glide does 20 damage. And then Luster Purge, discard three energy from this Pokemon. All the three energy uh, you put on it, you have to discard all three of them to do 180 damage. Too much. <laughs> I mean, if you need a psychic Pokemon, there you go. <laughs> like I said, there are some good psychic Pokemon in here, but like these legendaries, they got dumbed down pretty hard. <laughs> They're not as legendary anymore. Okay, pack number, I think what is it now? 16, no. 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, okay. Water Energy, Wimpod, Elekid. Yeah, another baby Pokemon for zero energy, Crackling Shot. It's just 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Could be bench, could be not. Um, don't apply weakness or resistance for bench Pokemon. I used it during the pre-release event, that, so it was kind of fun. Having that uh, little damager for trying to get energy out. Tink of Tough. Trubbish. Orthworm. Toad's Cruel. Slime Mold Colony is its ability. Cards in your opponent's discard pile can't be put into their hand by an effect or of your opponent's abilities or trainer cards. That's crazy. Mushroom Drain, 80 damage, and you heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. So that could see some play, especially... Some people just might play Slimy Mold. <laughs> just play for Slime Mold Colony. And, uh, yeah, they, that, that would mess up a lot of... A lot of... Wow. <laughs> I run Super Rod in one of my, in, uh, my water deck, and that would just completely null and void that card, uh... Yeah, certain and that's abilities and trainer cards. That's yeah, that's a lot. Uh, we got the screen tail right there we talked about earlier. Crocolor, reverse foil, reverse foil Zacian. Again, dumbed down legendary. <laughs> Iron Roar, 20, 30 damage for one steel energy. Attach a basic steel energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. That's not bad. Brave Blade for three energy, uh, one hundred thirty damage during your opponent's Pokemon during your turn. Ah, during your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack. That's not bad, actually. Uh, get a little Steel Energy recycling for Steel Pokemon. And yeah, it's to one of your bench Pokemon, so you could, I, could see some play, I can see some play there. I just can't see staying out too long. And then we got the same, the rare. The rare is a Golisopod. <laughs> so yeah, we got a Zacian. Let's 
Sorry if the camera's a little shaky right now. My my rig is literally two uh, paper towel rolls and a, and a large uh, yardstick. <laughs> that's all that's holding up my camera right now. <laughs> you work with what you got. Okay, we're on to pack number 17. We got Joltik. Loudred, Remoraid, Pump Kaboo, Medical Energy, Steeny, Glissor, Reversal Toxel, Reversal Whismer, and the rare is Garganical. Gargan Garganical. I keep calling it Garganical. It's Garganical. That is like one of the most commonly pronounced mispo mispronounced Pokemon. <laughs> uh, yeah, we talked about this one already. Pretty good. I had the refer I had the diff the alternate art form of him. I think I actually a reverse foil of them too, so that's cool. I've got like three forms of this one card. <laughs> Might have to run it in a deck, maybe. We'll see. All right, pack number 18. This is the last of the Elite Trainer box packs. So, yeah, we've gotten like one EX in each box, so that's that's decent. Not sure if that means anything. Uh, Crustal and Onyx. Yeah, the Onyx is all is all coast attacks, by the way, so it works with the Steelix if you just want to run it in a Steel deck. Yeah, flip a coin, it he hard headbutt, flip a coin, it heads during your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage, and then land crush does 80. Eh, decent. I, I just don't see a point in running the Steelix, though, unless you just not need steel Pokemon. <laughs> I'd rather run the Zossian before I run the Steelix. <laughs> Flittle, Nicket, Technical Machine De-Evolution. This one could be evil. Uh, basically, for one energy, devolve each of your opponents of all Pokemon by putting this high, the highest stage evolution card on it into your opponent's hand so but they, they can just evolve it next turn can't they true that's true but what if they use like <laughs> freaking rare candies to evolve their pokemon that completely messes them up they gotta get those rare candies back <laughs> so i'm less that makes me a little bit leery about running rare candy but still this is a screw you to anyone who runs rare candy <laughs> like oh, like four of them yeah explode mela I like this one, especially for fire decks. I mean, only in fire decks. You can use this card only if your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn. Attach a basic fire energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. If you do, draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. So it's a six-card draw, potentially. And you get a fire energy back. And you're probably going to have one since your Pokemon was knocked out last turn. Just saying. Defiance Vest. Reverse Foil, Reverse Foil Crobat. That's actually a, an uncommon card, so just giving that a heads up there. And the rare is, ooh, it's an alternate art form. It's Tabu Coco EX. That's the second EX we got from this box. <laughs> and yeah, it's an alternate uh, alternate artwork. It's two star rare, two star foil. Uh, Vengeful Shock, two energy. If you uh, if any of your Pokemon were knocked out by damage from an attack during your opponent's last turn this attack does 90 more damage and your opponent's active pokemon is now paralyzed i'm gonna say that again because there's a siren going off in the background sorry i have my windows open <laughs> if any of your pokemon were knocked out by damage knocked out by damage from an attack during your opponent's last turn uh this attack does 90 more damage and your opponent's active pokemon is now paralyzed it's a perfect revenge kill right there then Extreme Current, uh, discard an energy from this Pokemon, but that's only one energy to do 180 damage. <laughs> Latios here could learn a thing or two. Just saying. <laughs> Not a bad pull so far. We haven't even gotten to the box yet. <laughs> All right, now we are getting into the Mac Daddy, the 36-pack booster box. I am excited for this. Look at that. I just gotta show that off real quick. Okay. So this will be our 19th pack. No. Yes, 19th pack. <laughs> pack number 19. First one of the box, 19th pack we're opening. Again, we got 54 packs we're opening here, so there's so many. Okay. If I, don't, if I can't build a good deck after all this, I, I quit. <laughs> Quit before I even start again. All right, nine, pack number 19. Apom, Pansage, Mantike, Gabite, Simpora. I'll take a minute to talk about these, the monkey trios. 
Simapore, Panpore, and Simapore, Simasage, and <laughs> Simi, Simapore, Simasage, Simi Seer. That's it. They all have this ability called Monkey Trio. If you have Simasage, Simaseer, and Simapore in play, ignore all uh, energy costs in this attacks of attacks used by this Pokemon. I think it's the same thing in, in all of them. It's kind of an interesting thing. Uh, Liquid Lashing. This attack does 30 more damage. Sorry, this does 30 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. I think the other ones are different, but I'm just saying it's kind of weird. I want to see if I can make something. If I, I've had to probably dedicate a deck to that. I don't think it's good enough. I just wanted to make a note of that. I don't think it's good enough to run something around it. <laughs> Orthworm. Another Toad Scroll, which I might try and do something with. Uh, reverse Foil Wimpod. Reverse Foil Knackley. And the rare is... Boom! Norman! Look at that. <laughs> God, I wish you were a better supporter. <laughs> two star rare, yeah. Two see two stars. So that's uh, it draws two cards, and if the Pokemon you're in your opponent's active spot is Neex, you draw two more. For the first po first card of a box, it's pretty good. Let's hope we get more like that. <laughs> I pray that's not the only like rare card. That's like not the only good card I pull out of here. <laughs> we'll find out. We got thirty five to go. <laughs> All right, we are on to pack number, let's see, that was 19, this is 20, pack number 20. We got a Toxel, a Spinda, Nimble, Elekid, Exploud, Mela, Minior, Reverse Foil Tingly, that's a rare. Yeah, so like they said, Dumb Down Legendary. Attach uh, two basic fighting energies from discard pile to one of your Pokemon. I kind of like the Garganical better. Um, and then for three uh, energy we can play, we can use Arrogant Impact, 220 damage. But if this Pokemon has four or more damage counters on it, this attack does nothing. <laughs> With 140 HP, it's going to have damage counters on it. Probably at least four. <laughs> yeah, I can't... I mean, unless you're just like knocking out Pokemon left and right, I can't see this being, being that good. So it's kind of problematic. One of the better dumbed down legendaries, but that's kind of sad if you think about it. We also have Reverse Foil Octillery. This is actually an interesting ability. When you uh, play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve um, one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may draw three cards. So evolve into Octillery and then draw three cards. Not bad. Kind of wish it was its attack was better. During your opponent's uh, next turn, if the defending Pokemon tries to attack, your opponent flips a coin. If Tails, the attack does nothing. So 60 damage... It's decent. I'm not sure if I'm going to run it. The rare is Chiyu. Dumb down legendary. Actually, it's actually one of the better ones. I can see it working with uh, Mela, fire deck. Flare bringer. Attach up to two fire energy, basic fire energies from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. So that's good. Mega, mega fire of, of envy. 50 damage plus if any of your po uh, Pokemon were knocked out by damage for an attack during your opponent's last turn. This attack does 90 more damage. So... Two energy for 140 is not bad. So yeah, you can run that one. That one I can see seeing I, seeing some play. Can I put a counter up here or something? Because <laughs> I'm losing track of all the of all the packs I'm opening or what number we're on. Let's see, six, twelve, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. We got a mining, uh, double aid. Mill tank. Some of these Pokemon, like like this one, Lively Tackle. This Pokemon was healed during this turn. This attack does 90 more damage, 60, 150. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Wimpod, another Screamtail. Devolution, uh, TM. Exploud, Reversal Dottler, Charcadet. And the rare is Mewtwo EX. That is a Terra Electric. Holy crap, that is nice. Let's talk about it. I like the Terras in this. <laughs> so again, it's electric type. See that? Oh, there we go. Psychic. Sorry. Psychic energy, electric type. You, you get the picture. <laughs> yeah, you have to use Psychic, but uh, it's basic. It gets the Terra effect as long as this Pokemon is on your bench. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks. Uh, for one Psychic energy, you can use Transfer Charge. Attach two basic... Psychic energy is from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon in any way you like. That's good. Uh, Photon Kinesis. 
This attack does 30 more damage for each psychic energy attached to all of your Pokemon. So, yeah, if you've got two energy on this thing, this thing does uh, 70. And that would be electric damage. Take that water. <laughs> uh, but I, I can see I can see that one getting some, a little bit more play if you, uh, especially if you go crazy with the psychic energy. Which, like I said, psychic Pokemon did get a lot of support in this in this uh, in this set. So that's our first EX of the of the booster box. First of many, I hope. Got Vanillish, Onyx, Tinka Tank, Charcadet, Don Dozo. <laughs> this one's a weird one. Uh, we talked to Izzy. It's for uh, one energy. Look at the top five cards of your deck. You may attach any number of basic energy cards you find there to this Pokemon. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. It's a good way to find the energy, but for freaking five energy to do uh, 180 damage, you better be finding some energy. <laughs> I can see this thing being like a good energy searcher and then maybe using super energy retrieval afterwards. I can't see it being seeing much use after that. Valooza, Blindside TM, Joltik Reverse Fall, Absol Reverse Fall, and the rare is... Wait for it, wait for it. Chien Pao. Uh, Chien Pao could see some play. I just don't like the discarding energy thing. <laughs> Not, it's not the worst. Uh, I can think of some better ones, though, to use. Next pack. Got Plusle. Tend to Mouse. Toad's Cool. Toxic. Toxel. <laughs> Tinkaton. Glissor. We got a lot of Glissors. Future Booster Energy Capsule. Reverse Full Vanillish. Reverse full Wimpod, and the rare is, ooh, 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 Iron Hands EX. So this is a future Pokemon. A lot of people, were, I've, heard, I've heard people talking about this. For three energy, Arm Press does 160. Not much to, not much to say there, but uh, Ampy very much at this Pokemon. If your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from this attack, you get to take one more prize card. There are only six prize cards in the game. If this thing attacks a, a freaking uh, EX Pokemon, knocks it out, you get to take three prize cards. <laughs> I can see people running four of those things and just destroying decks left and right. <laughs> and then, but again, that takes four energy to get four electric energy to get that on it, which isn't hard to do. I think there's a ray, a ray gun card, some kind of trainer card I saw that is pretty good at putting energy on po electric energy on Pokemon. So it shouldn't be too hard to pull off. All right, next pack. Flittle, Trubbish, Gimme Ghoul, Wiglet, Crocolore, Technical ev um, Machine Evolution. So like de-evolution, but backwards. <laughs> uh, evolution, choose up to two of your bench Pokemon for each of those Pokemon. Search your deck for a card that evolves from that Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon to evolve it. Then shuffle your deck. So interesting attack. I, th I see. I think there's an Ndidi that does the same thing, but you know you can just throw that on there for one turn. Vanillix. Oh, <laughs> wow. We got. Wow. I just kind of spoiled that for you. Sorry. <laughs> we got uh, Vanillix, uh, Beach Court, which I like. The tree cost of each basic Pokemon in play, both yours and your opponent, is uh, one less. That is the best card we've pulled tonight. And then the Zaycrum, which I don't care about. <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, the Beach Court was released already, but look at that. That is awesome. <laughs> that just looks so cool. And you get a little Flamigo down there in the corner. That, that just looks so cool. I actually kind of want to run Beach Court. Not sure. I'm, not, I'm just not crazy about my opponent being able to retreat for as much. If most of your Pokemon have, like, one uh, retreat cost, then it's actually pretty affordable. All right, next pack. Yeah, Spinda. Sorry, I just spoiled it for you there. <laughs> Nimble, Elekid, Vanillish, Simsage, Norman, Cyclozar. Not the best one. I think, I think the if it had zero retreat cost, it'd be better. There's the better Cyclozar. Techno Radar, Reverse Foil, Lipard, Reverse Foil, and a Kingdra. 
Interesting water type. So, Kingdra. Uh, reveal the top six cards of your deck. This attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each energy you find there. Then you have to discard those energy and shuffle the other cards back into your deck. Why does this, this set hate energy cards? <laughs> so, this could do a lot, potentially a lot of damage, but you have to have... You have to kind of have a lot of water energy. And if you have too much water energy, you're going to have room for less trainer cards, so less control options. So I can't see it being too good. And you're not going to be using that attack more too many times. <laughs> Unless you just want to get all the energy in your discard pile, in which case, bad idea. Next pack. Again, my rig's not that good. <laughs> Jirachi. And yeah, that's a common Jirachi, by the way. Prevent all damage counters from being placed on your bench Pokemon by effects of attacks used by your opponent's basic Pokemon. Eh. Charge energy, search your deck for two, two basic energy cards, reveal them, and put them on put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. That's not too bad. You can throw that in any deck, really. Nackley, Parasol Lady, Corygon 2, Defiance Vest. What does that do? You have more prize cards remaining than your opponents. This attack does. This attack. This card is attached to. Takes forty le less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon after applying weakness and resistance. Not too bad. Durant, Turbo Energize. Search your deck for two basic cards. Attach them to your bench Pokemon. Panseer, Toad's Cool, and Latios. Next pack. We got Onyx, Tinka Tank, Shark Debt, Flittle, Toad's Cruel, Ooh, Slitherwing. It's an ancient Pokemon. So for one fighting energy, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. <laughs> A little screw you there. And then uh, two energy burning turbulence does 120 damage. But this Pokemon also does 90 damage to, your, to itself, and your opponent's active Pokemon is not burned. Weird. Okay, weird trade off. De Evolution, Gorgeist, Reverse Fall, Mantike, and Thievel. Alright, next pack. Got Octillery, Golbat, Larry. <laughs> Kind of a poor man's uh, jock. If you uh, flip a coin, if head, search your deck for two Pokemon, reveal them, putting them into your hand. If tail, search your deck for a basic Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. If you're looking for basic Pokemon, they're better supporters. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'd probably use Clavel before I used him, but if you're trying to get like two like regular, like could be basic, could be evolution, maybe it's okay. I don't know, it's too situational for my liking. Yamas. Yeah, Wolf Trio. Turbo Radar, Steeny, Reversal Chi, that's a rare. Ooh, look at this. Alternate artwork, Ferrothorn. And a Deoxys. Look at that. Three rares in one pack. <laughs> so the Deoxys, yeah, that's nothing to, that's, yeah, negligible. Uh, Chi Yu, we talked about earlier, but the Ferrothorn. Yeah, for, uh, let's see, Exoskeleton, this attack does 30 uh, less damage from attacks. This Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks, sorry. Uh, for steel energy and normal energy, colorless, yeah, spinning needles, 50 damage during your opponent's next turn. If this poke, if the po this Pokemon's spinning needles attack, oh, during your sorry, I'm my mind is all over the place right now. 50 damage during your next turn. Spinning needles does 100 more damage. So over two turns, you're doing 200 damage. That's pretty good. Plus, this Pokemon uh, has a natural uh, 30 damage bar barrier every turn. So I can see it getting some play. Yeah, we've got a, a lot of good rares from this. We got the friggin' beach court earlier, gold. <laughs> that was nice. All right, next pack. Yeah, there are no foil energies in this. Just to give you a heads up there. Trubbish, Gimme Ghoul, Wiglet, Jirachi, Explode, Mela, Ferrothorn. We just saw that's a. Yeah, it's uncommon, but, I mean, the artwork looks cool. 
We got Flittle and Garbador. Reverse foil and the rare is Tinglo. Yeah, we've uh, talked about a lot of these already, so we're probably going to be speeding through most of the next ones, unless we've already talked about them. Let's see, pack number, this will be 30, I believe. So we're more than halfway home. Dark Energy, we got a Surskit. Whimsy, or Whim Whismer, Flamingo, Porygon, Countercatcher, Absol, Masquerain, Reverse Foil Zebstrika, Reverse Foil Deoxys, that's not the rare, the rare is Low Kicks. Alright, so, got a few good ones there. Alright, next pack. Knackley, the energy, Parasol Lady, Porygon 2, Octillery, Earthworm, Toad's Scream Screamtail, Mean Foo, Zubat. <laughs> nice looking Zubat, but the rare is Serena! Look at that! That is a two star rare. And that is a water type Serena for grass energies, though. Uh, Put damage counter. Put damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon uh, until its remaining HP is 30. Wow, for one psych, for one Grass Energy. <laughs> put damage counters onto one of your opponent's Pokemon until its remaining HP is 30. That is gonna wreck so many Pokemon. <laughs> and then Trot Kick heal 30 damage from this Pokemon and it recovers uh, from all special conditions. So burn, poison. And that's a screw you right there. Confusion, yeah. Uh, and then 180 damage. So this is a powerful card, and I'm glad I pulled it. I hope I can pull another one, too. I could probably make something out of that. <laughs> yeah, for an Ice Princess Serena. <laughs> All right, next pack. Blipbug, Fuecoco, Honedge, Dwebble, Professor Sada, Sada's Vitality. Uh, it's an interesting Pokemon for ancient Pokemon. Choose up to two of your ancient Pokemon and attach a basic energy from your discard pile to each of them. If you uh, attach an, any energy in this way, draw three cards. So you get two energy back and you get to draw three cards. That's pretty dang good for a supporter. It's not, it's not, but you again, it's situational because you can only use it on ancient Pokemon. Tatsugiri, Dondozo, they work well together. We got a Brute Bonnet. That is a reverse foil Brute Bonnet. Wow, to get that ancient poke, they <laughs> to get all these ancient cards. Uh, toxic Powder. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon has an ancient booster or energy capsule attached, you may both you may make both Pokemon active Pokemon poisoned. <laughs> and I think the booster energy prevents it from being poisoned. So yeah. <laughs> So yeah, if it's active, it uh actually would work. It just poison, just straight poison the other Pokemon, and then rampaging hammer, 120 damage. During your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack. So probably good bench warmer. <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens. But again, that's not even the rare. We got Minen, and then we got uh, Glycopod. So pretty good pull there. To get that brute bonnet. Okay, next Pokemon. Oops, sorry. Next one, Seedra, Magby, Vanillite, Oricorio, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. Yeah, let's see. The Ancient Pokemon that's attached to gets 160 HP, covers from all special conditions, and it can't be affected. So if that's active, that's attached to that. You can just straight up poison the Pokemon with Toxic Powder. Yeah. Uh, Orthworm, uh, Professor Turo scenario. Put one of your Pokemon. Yeah, you don't even need future Pokemon for this one. You can just put one of your Pokemon in play into your hand and discard all cards attached to that Pokemon. It's kind of like a scoop up, but in uh, supporter form. I'm not sure if I like that though. Cedro, did we just get Cedro? Beginning of this, yeah. So we got two Cedro in one pack. <laughs> I thought I was seeing double. <laughs> 
And then I realized I was. Counter catcher and the rare is boom. Zatu. This is the one I was talking about earlier, Zatu. Clear point sense. Once during your turn, you may attach a basic psychic energy card from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. If you attach energy to a Pokemon this way, draw two cards. That's crazy. That is so crazy. You can just attach a psychic energy, an extra energy turn per turn, and then you can just draw a card, two cards to, for doing that one energy. For doing that one simple thing. That is so beneficial. I can see that just being like a just a bench warming uh, Pokemon for a psychic deck. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try some things with the psychic Pokemon in this uh, set. <laughs> Alright, next pack. We got Wismer, Flamigo, Porygon, Seedra, a Slitherwing, Gorgeist, Tatsugiri, Nimble, Tinka Tank, and the rare is it's Psychic. Espathra. So we got another Espathra right there. Yeah, definitely gonna have to make an Espathra deck <laughs> with Zatu. These two together, holy crap. <laughs> the bestest of friends. Best psychic friends. <laughs> they can read each other's minds <laughs> and laugh at the same jokes without, without saying them. All right. Next pack, we got Swablu, Panseer, Nickit, Gligar, Minshaw, Arika, Gorgeist, Ferrisseed, Reverse Foil, Ver uh, Vanilla, and, well, you just saw it, Altara EX. <laughs> uh, Humming Heal. Once during your turn, you may heal 20 damage from each of your Pokemon. <laughs> All that damage you did with freaking Steelix, there you go. Actually, it's a Steel and Water type attacker, so yeah. Uh, Light Pulse. During your opponent's next turn, prevent all effects of attacks used by your opponent's Pokemon done to this Pokemon. Damage is not an effect. That's crazy. So it can just do straight damage. I'm not sure if that, that could be beneficial, though, for some of these Pokemon. <laughs> like a uh, Rampaging Hammer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can attack again next turn. Thanks, Altaria EX. <laughs> So, uh, interesting. I'm not sure if I'll see if we'll see play. Again, the dragons are a little weird, but if you can make them work, more power to you. Still, though, it's a Pokemon EX. I'm not going to scoff at it. Next pack. We got Golbat, Larry, Yamask, Surskit. Devolution, Exploud, Mela, Reverse Oil Glissor, Reverse Oil Whismer, and the rare is... Boom! More Pekko! So, in a hungry hurry, if this Pokemon has no energy attached to it, it has no retreat cost. Eh, decent. For two dark energy, you can do 70 damage, and then move two dark energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. Eh. <laughs> the ability would be cool if the attack was better. But it is what it is. All right, next pack. Magby, Vanillite, Oricorio, Swablu, Vanillux, Defiance, Belooza, Slithering, Reverse Foil, Wochian, Reverse Foil, second rare. But the rare, the rare for this pack is Aegislash. So we did get an Aegislash EX earlier. This one right here. Normal Age of Slash, which is pretty good. Prevents all damage uh, done to this Pokemon from attacks from your opponent's EX and Pokemon V Pokemon. Holy crap! Yeah. And then Hard Bashing, 120 damage, and this attack isn't affected by any effects of your opponent's active Pokemon. Wow. This is just like, like this is like, just get out of my way. I'm attacking. Don't, don't mess with me. <laughs> like, you think you're going to do something, and then nope. So yeah, maybe running a yeah, maybe keep some regular Pokemon instead of all those EX and Pokemon Vs in your deck, just saying. <laughs> I might be able I might he might see some play. I wouldn't be surprised if if I see him during a regional tournament or something. Alright, next pack. Horsey, Joltik, Loudred, Remoraid, Tulip. This is the one I was talking about earlier, Tulip. I can't believe this is the first tulip we've per we've pulled. 
Uh, put up to any to four in any combination of psychic Pokemon and psychic energy, basic psychic energy from your discard pile into your hand. So that's the training card we need to get this pathway to work. Which, you again, in a straight psychic deck, you'll be seeing it. Vanilla, or sorry, Veluza. Chantal. We didn't talk about this one yet. Flip a coin if head, switching one of your be opponent's bench Pokemon to the active spot. If tails, switch your active Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. Too situational. Yamask. Feebas. Kind of good uh, Feebas, though. Search your deck for uh, an energy card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Yeah. Then shuffle your deck. So if you need the energy with that mile, tick, you will. But the rare is... Boom. Coffagrigus. EX. Okay. Gold Coffin. If this Pokemon is in is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent, opponent's Pokemon, search your deck for a card and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Any card at all. <laughs> if that thing gets knocked out, you get a card. I mean, your opponent takes two prize cards, but you get a card. <laughs> and then Hollow Hands for two Psychic Energy, 110 damage. And you can put five damage counters on your opponent's po on your Opponent's bench Pokemon in any way you like. I can see that getting some play. Uh, especially with a uh, freaking shiny uh, or radiant Alakazam. Yeah. And you just move some of those damage counters around and... <laughs> yeah, really, really get them. Really mess with your opponent. <laughs> Another pack. Yeah, we're gonna, like I said, we're speeding through some of these now because we're, we've talked about a lot of the cards already. Panseer, Nicket, Gligar, Blitbug, Turbo Energize, Wug Trio, Blindside, another TM, Spinda, Reverse Fall, Crustle Reverse Fall, the rare is Groudon. Uh oh, the dumbed down legendaries. I didn't want to see too many more of these. Attach basic energy, basic fighting energy from your discard pile from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Okay, decent. You can probably just attach it to him. Magma Purge, discard up to four energy from your Pokemon, any Pokemon. This attack does 60 damage for each card you discard in this way. 60 times. So you have to discard energy to do anything. You're just burning energy at that point. We don't... Not a good idea. <laughs> if you're going to burn energy, you better do more than 60. That's all I'm saying. So not terrible. It's not my first choice for a fighting type. Next pack. Pumpkaboo. Zubat. Natu. Purloin. Garbodor. Booster uh, Future Energy. Or sorry, boost Future Booster Energy Capsule. Screamtail. Reverse Wall Tulip, thank you. <laughs> Blitzel. And the rare is Garchomp EX. Holy crap, let's talk about it. <laughs> Water Pokemon, but uses Fighting Energies. Uh, Hydro Lander, 160 damage for one Fighting Energy. Attach up to three basic Fighting Energies from your discard pile to one, to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. <laughs> so that's good. But then Sonic Dive for two Energy. Discard two Energy from this Pokemon. Yeah, two Energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 120 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. You can go for the bench and get a knockout with a lot of things with that. But again, it costs you two energy. I see Hydro Lander being better. <laughs> but if yeah, if you need to go, for, if your opponent tries to run away, Sonic dive them, and that's yeah, <laughs> that's like come in. It's like Scorpion, get over here. <laughs> I can see me using some of these EX Pokemon, especially the Terra ones. Next pack, Waikoko, Hone Edge, Dwebble, Horsey, Iron Bundle, Techno Radar, Custom Catcher, Parasol Lady, Espathra, oh my god, look at that. And that's not even the rare, the rare is Iron Jugulus, which we talked about already, but look at that, that is so cool. Okay, my camera frame, my camera is starting to drop out, the frame rate on my camera is starting to drop out, so... Let's uh, try to speed through this next part. Yeah, this is going to be a heavily edited video. <laughs> Just because I'm opening so many packs. <laughs> Can't believe it. I'm back in the game, baby. 
All right, next pack. Mean Foo, Ferroseed, Gibble, Panpour, Iron Bundle, Ferrothorn, Cursed Duster. We didn't talk about this one yet. This Pokemon, if the Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by, eh, by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, discard a random card from your opponent's hand. Why? Gibble. Low, low Kicks. It's a, yeah, it's a reverse foil low kicks. It's I am in the rare. The rare is Volcanion. Dumb Down Legendary. I, there are so many of them, it's it's hard to like. <laughs> Dual Turbo. Uh, choose up to two base two of your bench Pokemon. Attach a fi uh, basic fire energy from your discard pile to them. And then Heavy Impact 120. So this is one of the better fire ones. Still don't like it. <laughs> All right, next pack. Bomb Sweet. Feebas, or Apom, Galvantula, Crocolore, Tulip. Anyway, now we're getting the tulips now that we complained about them. <laughs> Dondozo, Toad's Cool, Oracorio, Reverse Foil, and the rare is Steelix. <sighs> you know, compared to some of the these cards we're getting, Steelix actually looks decent. <laughs> Still don't like it. Next pack. Toxel. Lyperd. Wimpod. Elekid. Zebstrika. Crocolar. Ambipom. Hone Edge. Evolution. And uh, Chiyu. I, I do like the Chiyu though. Chiyu I can see myself using. Next pack, Mantike, Pansage, Minin, Snowrunt, Chantal, Garbodor, uh, Evolution, Reverse Full Booster Energy, Gimme Ghoul, and the rare, Chien Pao. <laughs> I gotta find something to do with that Chien Pao. <sighs> I'm getting too many of them to ignore. <laughs> it's like, don't ignore me! I always used at regionals. <laughs> yeah, in the video game. <laughs> Alright, next pack. Take a tough. Trubbish. Crustal. Onyx. Stone Relax Doll. Tink a ton. Durant. Elekid. Reverse foil. Blitzel. That's kind of nice. It's a Blitzel, but still, it's a nice Blitzel. And a Wochian. I like the Blitzel. <laughs> kind of wish the Zeb Strike. I wish it evolved into something a little bit better, but <laughs> I like I like Zeb Strike, but not not so much the one in this set. Next pack: Knackle Stack, Plusol, Dotler, Toxel, Durant, Slitherwing. I keep thinking, I keep wanting to say Slytherin. <laughs> That's not what that is. Ferrothorn. Foil Char or Reverse Foil Charcadet. That is a Reverse Foil Garganical, but that's not even the rare. This is the rare. Ha! Oh, Professor Sato's Vitality. So it wasn't uncommon, but this is a full body rare. Yeah, full body uh, two star rare. So yeah, that's cool. It's nice to look at, though. <laughs> Doesn't, it, yeah, it's, it's one of those cards that's like nice to look at, but it's. I don't know, I kind of wanted, uh, <laughs> I'm sure I'll be able to trade more stuff later. I got a lot of cards that are nice to look at, though, so that's that's decent. Next pack, Psychic Energy, Flittle, Nicket, Knackle, Nimble, all kind of end Pokemon. <laughs> Etherin Vessel, Medical Energy, Steeny, Toxel, Surskit, and the rare is... Kingdra, which I'm not impressed with. <laughs> All right, we're into the home stretch here. We got six more packs. We're gonna get some amazing cards. I hope so. All right, last six packs. Uh, I feel some good stuff coming from this one. Send me some good energy, guys. We got Joltik, Loudred, 
Remoraid, Pumpkaboo, Masquerain, Ancient uh, Booster Energy Capsule, <laughs> Professor Turo's sc uh, Scenario, Iron Bundle, Reverse Foil, that's kind of nice, but, oh, that's not it, Mill Tank, and then the rare is Zacian. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he might see some play in a Steel Deck. There are better Zacian, though. Next pack, Blitzel, Bon Sweet, V Bass, Apom, Or Beetle, Cloth, Luxurious Cape, Pan Sage, Hone Edge, and the rare is another Armoro GX. That's two, baby. Two Armoro GX. Yep, I love it. <laughs> I can de yeah, definitely see that working in a fire deck. I kind of want to get the uh, Cerule Edge, too. That'd be nice. If I can get two of those, yeah. <laughs> uh, we got four packs though. Maybe we can make it happen. Who knows? Let's see what this next pack has in store for us. A Zubat, a not two, Perloin, Mean Fu, Cyclozar, Mean Shao, Rika. We got a Remoraid. We got a Norman, and the rare is. Gorgonekel. All right, three left. Keep sending me those positive vibe guys. And positive vibe got me that armor rogue, that second armor rogue X. <laughs> if I can get a third armor rogue, oh, I kind of want to see what the sewer ledge does. I haven't seen what the sewer ledge does. Next pack: Galvantula, Mantike, Pan Sage, Minin, Cyclozar, Simsir. Robat, Masquerain, not two, and the rare is Palkia. I kind of want to get see what a Dialga would look like if they dumbed it down. <laughs> don't, Tim. Don't tempt fate. <laughs> get a freaking Dialga with 120 HP and takes four energies to discard all four of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, second to last pack. We got a Psychic Energy. We got a Pharisee, Gibble, Panpour, Blitzel, Common Blitzel, <laughs> Screamtail, Fasada's Vitality, Minior, Reverse Wolf, Simapore, Foycoco, and the rare is Iron Moth. We didn't talk about this one yet. Thermal Radiator. Once during your turn, when this card moves from your bench to your active spot, you may move any amount of fire energy from your other Pokemon to it. Heat Ray, during your next turn, this Pokemon can't use Heat Ray. <laughs> I think uh, tur or the booster, future booster energy uh, removes retreat cost, so that's good. Because we kind of need it at this point. All these uh, freaking ancient, these uh, future Pokemon that can't attack twice. Alright, last pack. Send me those vibes, guys. I need good vibes here for the last pack. We got a Snow Runt, Knackle Stack, Plusel, Dotler, Rourke, Minior, Simipore. Oh, I feel something good. Porygon, oh, Pump Kaboo, and the rare is. Porygon Z. Wow, we the first the Pokemon we started with is the Pokemon we end with. We didn't talk about its, its ability, Buggy Turbo. Uh, once during your turn, uh, if yeah, if you you may flip a coin, if heads, attach four basic energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon. If tails, discard an energy. So it's not a bad trade off. Energized attack does forty times the number of energy attached to the Pokemon. Eh, <laughs> can't say anything good about it. Can't say anything bad about it. But well, that was a. Uh, Wow, so many cool stuff. We'll get to that in a sec. All right, so I just had to get like a wide angle shot <laughs> of all the stuff we got. Uh, we did get a good amount of stuff. Uh, I think I'm most happy about the uh, Chargadet, the two Chargadet EXs. I'll probably do some with them. Uh, the Garganicals fun, Kava Grigus maybe. <laughs> really like that Beach Court though. Yeah, gold. Nice to get a gold foil out of a box. The Serena. 
Serena actually looks is actually pretty playable. If I can get another one of those, I'd be happy. Uh, Garchomp, I actually have another one of already, so that'll be fun to play. Uh, Iron Hands, I, I'm going to have to work with that. Iron Hands and the Top of Coco could probably do something with. But uh, yeah, this is actually looking pretty good so far. <laughs> pretty good collection. I mean, out of 54 packs, I'd, I'd like to think we got some good stuff, so we did. But yeah, that is uh, going to wrap things up for tonight's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you like this video, subscribe to Tim Plays Game, and stay tuned. I'm probably going to, I'm, I'm back in Pokemon trading card game, so I'll probably be getting some more stuff later on with new sets that come out. But till next time, this is Tim from Tim Plays Game signing off, and have a good night, guys.